Hi everyone, uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, try to learn simulation of circuits containing op amps and uh, let us consider this famous configuration of uh, inverting amplifier. Here I am using 741 type op amp, mu 741 and you see that this is a voltage source VI, I will define it as a sinusoidal source and there are two power supplies connected here positive power supply and negative power supply so i am naming this node as vdd this node as vss and the supply that it is the source that it is connected to also being called as vdd so what i mean to say that there is a voltage source vdd between node vdd and ground zero and its value is say 12 volt similarly here we have a negative voltage so there is a voltage source VSS between node VSS and 0 and its value is minus 12. So we are using symmetrical power supply plus minus 12 and the gain will be set by these two resistors and gain is gain of this configuration is minus 2 and I have named various nodes that for example I am calling this N and I am calling this M. I have not named this node uh, because this is 0 by default. So let us uh, uh, let me emphasize one more time that this this is the name of the source that is connected here, and this is the name of the node. So name of the source and na name of the node can be same thing, and it is often actually good practice to do it like this because you know you know that VDD is connected to the node VDD. Okay. So let's uh, first download the model. Generally, models are provided by manufacturers in form of sub circuit. If, we have already learned about the sub circuit in previous tutorial. So let me down first download the model of MIMA 741. Let me go here and type MIMA 741 open model, spice model. And let us download it. So this is why Texas Instruments MIMA 741 simulation model. It is PS Spice model, but it will run in fortunately in LTS Spice 2. Show in folder and let us grab this. Let us extract this to this folder. Hopefully, it will okay. So, this is 301, but I don't know what it is. Anyways, let's open that. Open it. Open with uh, select notepad and let us first save it. Save as in our LTS Spice folder. It is good practice to keep everything in the folder that you are working in. Triple LTS, triple IT, LTS summer. So this is the folder where our project folder, US741, and this is text document. Okay, so this is text document, save it. And let us go here to check if, if it is available here or not. LTS by summer VA741 and 301 find type. I don't know what this is, so let me deliberately let me do what. Okay, let's let's say that this extension is dot 301. Let us see what happens. So let me grab okay. Let's see what is inside this model. So if you see the first line, all these lines are comments, you see, because the star precedes this line. And uh, this is model for macro model. You, you, you can see the details of macro model on, on, on internet. So, mu SN4 operation has been macro marketer, macro model, and it was created on this date, and this is a very old model, you see. And connection, so you see here, the sub circuit, the model has been defined by the sub circuit, and the last line will be. Dot n. So we, we don't have to write sub circuit for the open seven four one. It has already been, been provided by the manufacturer. So all that I have to do is to call this model again again I, as I did in the previous tutorial for inverter. And the sub circuit name is mu seven four one. And the first node is for non inverting. First node is non inverting. Second node is for inverting. Third node is positive power supply. Four is negative power supply and 5 is the output. So this, this is what our model is. So let us grab a notepad 
and let us see this diagram to write the circuit file. So first line is a comment file, comment line, and it is inverting open configuration. Uh, so first is bi or anything. Let me note n and zero. And it is a sine wave, I am defining it as a sine wave of amplitude, say 1 volt and frequency 1 kilohertz, and the DC value is 0, that is, it seems about uh, 0 axis, x axis or, or time axis, and then there is a register R1 with no N and M, and its value is 1k, there is a register R2 between node M and out I am calling this node as out ok this node is out and here is basically my output R2 between sorry R2 between M and out and its value is 2k so I expect a gain of minus 2 ideally and then there is a voltage source VDD connected between node VDD and ground and its value is 12 and there is a source, negative source between DSS and 0 and its value is minus 12 so you see, if you are connecting this plus node here so you have to write minus 12 because this means uh, positive power supply and if you switch this to say minus sign is here and plus is here then you don't need to write minus here but I am defining both, both the voltage source positive and negative in the same base in convention so that's why it is plus 12 and minus 12 it is always easier to do it like this, I feel so. And then there is a sub circuit. I already have downloaded the sub circuit for the SN41. And when you call sub circuit, the name of sub circuit start with letter X. I am calling it XOA. So XOA. Now the name of the node. So if you see this order, first is non inverting then inverting, then positive and negative power supply, then the output. So non in, my non-inverting is, non-inverting is 0 and inverting input is M, positive power supply node name is BDD, negative power supply node name is DSS and output node name is out. So let me write in this order, do not change this order, if you write something here in a different order than this, that, that defined in the sub circuit it will be, you know, it will have disastrous effect on your, on your simulation and it will be wrong. So, the first node should be non-inverting. In my circuit, non-inverting is 0. So, let me write 0 here and then comes the inverting. So, in my circuit, inverting is M. There should be 1 to 1 correspondence between these two, you see. M, then comes the positive power supply and calling that node is DDD, the negative power supply, and calling that node. Look, the, all these things are nodes. Do not confuse this DDD with this DDD. All that you have to look here is for the node name where positive power supply is connected. So, positive power supply, this DDD source is connected to the node whose name is VDD. So, that's why I am putting VDD here. It, it has been say, if it were P, so I will write P here. Okay. And then the output node that is out. And then comes the name of the sub circuit that is VA741. VA741 space and then either I can copy and paste everything control A, control C. So this is one way control A, control C. I copy and paste it with whole sub circuit file here. And now my voltage source is a sine wave sine wave has horizontal axis as time so I will perform what kind of analysis the transient and I will perform transient up to what time so the time period is 1 millisecond if I am interested in say 5 seeing 5 uh, periods of sine wave so I will write, write dot tran 5m so it will perform transient analysis from 0 to 5 milliseconds and dot m file save as and let us call this open underscore imp dot st name of this circuit file save it 
Close it. Close this. Close this. Close everything. Let us go to LTS files and let's fill this circuit file that I have written. Opam INV and let us run this simulation. No analysis request on outcome. What is that? Okay, this is something that I am not able to let me delete. I don't know what that was. So save. So from this point to this point is the sub circuit. You see? And all these starts are just coming. I did the run. Control A. My input was the node at V in. And Control A. My output is V out. Or output voltage at node out. So you can see a gain of. You can see the inversion. This is my input, the green one. Let me create another fan. And let me place my input here. So you can see the inversion, right? So this is 2, this is 1. Again of 2. And because the inversion, the gain is minus 2. You can see, okay, at 5 time periods, you can see because the simulation I have performed is up to 5 milliseconds. So this is how you can attach model. And there is one more thing, okay, let me try. In fact, if I don't want to make it dirty, so I won't copy and paste here. Whether I would like to write this dot include, I have already talked about dot include command and the name of the file. So because you have already saved, it is very important that your circuit file as well as the file you are attaching should be in the same folder. Otherwise, you have to give the whole address. So mu a seven four mu a seven four one dot three zero one. So this is the circuit file where u is seven four one dot three zero one. What kind of file type is I don't know. Let us hit run. So again you see it's basically attaching this model. Okay. So this is the file type. So actually it is extension. The text file has extension dot txt three zero one file has new a seven four one dot three zero one so you have to write the name of this file that contains the model with extension. Do not forget this extension. If I forget this one, I can see. Ah, it, it cannot include the model because we have forget the extension. So do not forget extension. It was sorry. Write the correct extension of the PST. I was making the wonder. And place, place, press Control A. And be out. One thing, uh, one more thing. So, what happens that if I close this and hit run, the waveform will not show automatically. But press Ctrl A, press V out, and while this window is active, I mean this plot setting, plot window is active. Just hit save. So this waveform will be saved. Close. And hit run, it will open automatically. So, this completes the tutorial on how to include model, how to download 741 or any OPAP model from the internet and include this in your circuit simulation software, especially LTS files. Thank you very much for watching.